As some of you may know, I'm an exchange student this year at Baldwin. Originally, I'm from Bremen in Germany, which is, compared to Pittsburgh, a little small city in Germany. I've been in the United States since August last year, and the idea of traveling abroad is really amazing to me. I, I always was fascinated by traveling, and my mom inspired me to do an exchange since she did an exchange in college. Going to a foreign country can be really scary because you don't know what to expect from something. And you leave everything behind that you know since you were a child. There's your family and your friends, your country, the city that you live in, the language that you speak, the food that you eat, and even your school that you go to. Everything changes. It is more than I ever imagined, and I'm pretty sure more than you can imagine. But I'm really glad that I took those risks, because so far everything turned out really awesome. And many people told me, don't you miss out on your high school experience? But however, the reality is I'm not missing out on anything. I'm gaining a lot more than I could imagine. I learned so many things that I would probably not have learned if I wouldn't come. Things that I will never forget. Just this week with junior prom coming on, I learned a really important lesson. I learned how important prom really is to many people, and especially to students. <laughs> we don't have anything similar to school dances in Germany, but I didn't understand the real importance of it. But living in the US, I learned to value it way more. It is, prom is the end of high school to many students, and it is the chance to feel like and to look like Cinderella to many people. And for me, it is a whole new experience. I brought my sunglasses today to tell you a story, what my exchange program told me last year. Imagine that every person in every country is wearing sunglasses day and night, and the colors in the sunglasses represent what keeps the people going and what makes them who they are. I picture it as, all the people in Germany have yellow sunglasses, and in America, maybe blue. Since I came to America last year, the colors in my glasses have changed. There's still some yellow, but also new blue, and some parts where they just mixed and changed. People told me not to change in America, but I don't think it is a bad change, and there's nothing that I could do about it. I actually really like the changes that I see. A couple months ago, I could have never dreamed of going on a big stage like this and talk to many people in English, which is my second language. It gave me self-confidence to come here and the ability to jump in the cold water sometimes and just to try it. I'm a person that likes to know what to expect from something. When I came here, I didn't know what to expect. I had the 10% of understanding that you have for a culture and its people that you get as a tourist mixed together with some traditional cliches about Americans, which is really not a lot when I'm looking at it now. I took the risk to come here, and I'm standing on a big stage, talking in English to many people. And yeah, I improved my English, but more importantly, I learned to value people and every moment that you share. I think it not only opened doors for me, it opened doors to other people too. For example, my sister Courtney, I know she's somewhere here, she'll visit me next year in Germany, and I'm really excited for that. I always wanted to have a big sister, and now I have a big sister. And as, as I learn from her about the culture, she'll live and learn my culture with me. People often ask me, what is different in Germany? What are the differences over there? And which country do you like more? To clear up the cliches first, we don't wear Leda Hosen 24-7. I didn't wear one since I was, I think, two. And we don't all wear, drive BMWs. We don't drink warm beer for breakfast, and not whole Germany is in the Alps. And as someone asked me a couple of weeks ago, no, China is not one of our border countries. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, I wasn't born speaking English, and you can't buy exchange students on Amazon. That was kind of sad when someone asked me that. 
I came up here today to tell you that Pittsburgh and Baldwin is a home for me. It became a home in the last months. And about the question which country I like better, there's really no answer for that. Because I found a wonderful family over here and really awesome friends, so I can make that decision. I came up here today to tell you my story and give you a message. A message that meant a lot to me in the last months means that the village, your village, it doesn't have to be limited to one city. It can be a whole country or a continent or the whole world, if you want it. I brought a quote for you today. It says, Der Weg ist das Ziel. It is a German quote and it means that the way is the goal. So I want every single one of you to put your sunglasses on and see the different colors and the different views on things that you see when you look at it from another perspective.